welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia from Girl Mates Planner World and we are planning for the week of April 13th through the 19th. And I'm just jumping in here. Very excited about this week. I have no plans whatsoever, obviously, because we are still under our stay at home order and doing everything that I can to keep my family and everyone else around us safe as well as flatten the curve as much as we possibly can. So with that being said, I definitely tried a bunch of different things this week because I didn't have plans, so I at least wanted my planner to look nice and make me happy. So I'm starting with some washi from Simply Gilded. I picked up this washi tape from the Little Craft Place, which is that local craft store here in Houston that I mentioned uh, in my last plan with me. And I just wanted it to be completely flush along the bottom of my mom agenda here. This week's plan with me, hopefully, we'll see by the end of the video, should be a lot less scattered than last week's plan with me. Of course, last week was my first video, so it wasn't gonna be perfect, but I watched Jazz Up The Plan's first YouTube video, and she pulled out a piece of wax paper, or parchment paper, and put it across her Happy Planner, and laid out all the stickers where she wanted it to to be so she could kind of have a vision of what she was going for. So I tried that out this week and I think it helped me be a little bit more organized. So it should be less scattered than last week's was. Uh, so here I'm just cutting that washi tape just so that it's nice and flush with the curved pages at the end of my mom agenda. And typically I would go straight into washi tape across the top, but this time I wanted to do kind of like washi vertically, like page flags on the each side of the pages. So I went ahead and laid down the full box in my sidebar here. That way I could line it up perfectly. And true fashion for myself, I took way too long. So we're just gonna jump ahead. Here's the page flags that I created. <laughs> so the washi tape that's along the sides, I got those from Hobby Lobby in just a, a big kit that I picked up. And the full box that I laid down is from the Happy Planners Color Story for uh, sticker book. So most of the stickers are going to come from the Color Story 4 sticker book here. This is where I'm starting to do things a little bit different. I'm taking this deco sticker and I put it down in the center of my page. Once I had it nice and in the seam of the pages, I moved back to my sidebar. So I'm starting by putting a habit tracker and this is from the Essential Plannings book from Happy Planner. Then I'm putting down some stickers for my son. I'm using a Storytime sticker from Once More With Love. Then I put down a Pokemon sticker from Once on in a Million. To track our workouts, I'm using a workout sticker from Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, for everything for Girlmates Planner World, I used a Planner Nerd sticker from Once on in a Million. And then for our dinners, I used an old sticker from Avalon and Ninth. I'm not sure if she still has these stickers, but it's just a girl holding a bowl of ramen. So then I moved on to Monday. Again, I don't have a lot of plans, so I'm just putting down that I have a bill due. This is a bill due sticker from the bill book from Wonton and Million that she did with Michaels. Uh, the material is thicker and glossy, so if you don't like to mix the materials of your sticker, like glossy or premium matte, um, keep that in mind before purchasing the sticker book. It's not something that bothers me at all. I, I will even mix foils. I think I do that in this spread, in fact. Um, so once I laid that down, I moved on to Tuesday to lay down a sticker to mark that we're going to have a family movie night. We're going to watch Onward on Disney Plus. And I did not like that it was right next to the Bill Deuce sticker. So I just picked it up and moved it at the end of Monday. Um, I don't have anything else going on. My husband does stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. But I don't have any cute like streaming or Twitch stickers. So if you know of a shop that has those kinds of stickers, let me know. I, I would love to use those to have it look a little bit nicer on the days that he is going to stream. So I had to jump all the way to Friday because I have nothing going on. So I'm marking that I have a bill on Friday. Our car insurance is due. So I'm using a car insurance sticker from Sweet Kauai Designs. And then I thought that I actually had some law homework to do. I forgot that it was the trimester break. So. I'm going to have to use a cancel sticker on top of this one, but I used a push pin from uh, Once More With Love to mark that I had law homework, and then I put down that I was going to FaceTime my family. So this is a FaceTime sticker again from Once More With Love, because I FaceTime my family in Australia every Friday. 
So now I'm moving on to the weekend and I could not find a weekend banner that I liked that kind of matched the theme that I'm going with this week. So I did find this green sticker that says seize the day. Uh, it's also inside of that color story four uh, from the happy planner. It doesn't say weekend, but that's okay with me. I didn't like it by itself. So I decided to put it on top of more of that simply gilded washi. Honestly, any excuse to use more of simply gilded washi. Uh, I think Vivlo's plan called her like the queen of washi. So it's her washi tape is just so cute. So I'm just layering that across the top and I was going to move it cause it didn't align perfectly, but it didn't bother me too much. And I actually think it turned out pretty cute. So on Saturday, I do have a birthday that I need to remember. So I'm just marking that here with an old happy birthday sticker from Erin Contran that I got a while ago. And then a cake sticker from a recollection sticker book. And that's literally everything that's going on on Saturday. <laughs> um, on Sunday, I have a bill due. And then as usual, I like to lay down a big box for the things that I do on both Saturday and Sunday, you know, the typical mom duties, you know, you got to clean and take your time that you're not working to do those things. So anything that my husband and I do that pertains to that kind of stuff, I put into a bigger box on Sunday. So I'm trying to figure out here how I wanted to lay it down. So I put down the sticker for the bill due first. I wanted it at the end of the day so it would line up with the way Monday did, but this works out. So now I'm layering another piece of deco here that I want to put my box with my list of things to do on top of, but it was too big. So I'm just using my X-Acto knife to cut off that piece of the feather so that my sticker looks like flush with the bill due sticker because I already laid it down. Um, I do use an X-Acto knife because I don't have a scraping tool, is that what they're called, that are a little bit more dull. So if you do have a new X-Acto knife that you're using for your stickers, just push very lightly so you don't cut through your paper um, and you'll cut just through the sticker just fine. So once I got the sticker laid out, I think I adjusted a little bit more. I am just now realizing that using this big, oh my goodness, using this big sticker, I covered up the washi page flags that I made for the sides of the page on the right hand side here. Oh goodness. That's okay. I mean, I have my planner open right here and I really like the way it looks. So it's not that big of a deal, but I did work hard to do something different with my washi tape and make those little flag looking things at the end. My goodness, that's fine. Everything, everything's fine. Um, but once I laid down the sticker, I realized I actually do have something important to do on Monday. Uh, I need to call my son's doctor. So I need to figure out how I'm going to signify that in my planner. I have nothing else going on so it can look cute. So I'm kind of just pulling back out the color story Four sticker book from the happy planner to see if there's any stickers that maybe say like important to do. Don't forget reminder, those kinds of things. Um, I did find one important sticker that was green that I thought I could use, but it was a very dark, almost like a forest green. And so I didn't think that it would mesh well. So then I found one sticker you'll see me pull out that says important with the flowers. And then that sticker there that says to do with the flowers. And I really liked both of them, but I could not make up my mind. Classic Alicia. So I'm going to pull them both out of the sticker book and put them down on Monday to see which one looks the best. Now with having to put that I have something important to do on Monday, that kind of changes the way that I have my stickers laid out because I did move my bill due sticker to fit the uh, family movie nine stickers. So I'm picking up both stickers from Monday and Tuesday and I'm going to move my bill due back to the top, which kind of worked out because now it's at the top of the day like it is on Sunday and on Friday so that they're not inconsistent in their location, I guess. It doesn't bother me too much, um, but I'm just going to lay that sticker down at the top and then move the family movie day uh, sticker or the sticker that I'm using for family movie night at the end of Tuesday. So here what you see me do is I put down that important sticker. I just didn't lay it all the way flat so that I could also pull out that to do sticker and look at both of them like I mentioned. So um, I laid one down and then I laid the other and that was still indecisive. And while I was laying them down, I thought maybe I could put like a quarter box or a small box behind it. I thought they might pop a little bit better 
if they had some sort of foundation behind them. So I'm just putting down that, that um, box I pulled up on Tuesday and then looking for a box put behind it. So I'm pulling out my accordion to find some stickers. And while I was flipping through there, I found some old um, boxes and stickers from an Erin Condren that I bought a couple of years ago and still had those stickers so that I could use them at some point. So I'm gonna pull those out so we can look at the different colors and then figure out which one I like the most. So this one is from when I bought my wedding planner. Uh, I didn't really think that that blue matched much. And then I found this green one. It's a little bit more vibrant than the sticker that the Seize the Day says, uh, but I figured since it was all the way on Monday, it's close enough. It's not too bad and, it, and it'll work. So I went ahead and I laid that sticker down and then now I'm repeating the process of putting both stickers down so I can figure out which one that I like. So I'm laying down the green one, then laying down the to-do so I can take a look at it and then laying down the important. See, it's, it's okay to be indecisive. You figure out what makes you happy in your planners. So I ended up going with the important sticker with the flowers at the bottom and I'm just throwing the to-do sticker in a blank spot in the color story for Happy Planner sticker book. That way I can use that another time but also still remember where it came from because if I throw it on a random sheet of paper, I'm not going to remember where that came from. All right, so now that I've got all my stickers down, I'm just going to start decorating the page. I really wanted this to be very colorful and bright and vibrant so I'm using lots of the decos that came in the color story for sticker book uh, along the top as well as um, in any blank spaces especially the top of the page since I didn't put any washi tape because I'm used to having washi tape across the top so it felt a little blank on the page so I'm just gonna put in some deco here and then we'll look at the page with all the stickers laid out So this is the spread before I put down any ink. I think that it turned out super cute. It was definitely outside my comfort zone by putting so much deco like in the center of the pages and in the areas where I write, but I really, really like it. And if you are having a hard time with your planner because you don't have much going on, uh, I definitely recommend pulling out some stickers and doing something that's outside your comfort zone. So here I'm just pulling out a metallic sticker from Right Dudes in Purple to use for my check boxes that I'm going to put next to everything and then a Pilot G2 in .38 to fill out all my information. So I'm just going to jot everything down and then this spread will be complete. so here's the final spread I think it turned out really great I really like it let me know what you think down below I'm really glad that I pulled out some stickers that I didn't think that I was gonna use and I think it definitely paid off 
I'm going to be posting some pictures of each page on my Instagram. So if you want to check them out, I'm at Girlmates Planner World. You can follow me there for some more posts. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear me do some more things. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.